my boyfriend commenting on social media. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Relationship Thursday. How are you guys doing? This is Ron Sapphire Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this one was actually brought to my attention uh, by my cousin, who was pretty much just asking me the question uh, because she has someone, a good friend of hers, who's going through this right now, where her boyfriend actually is going on uh, social media and he's liking other women's picture. I guess in this particular case, it's one specific woman that she's talking about. And I guess he, he uh, writes beautiful, and in one case, he was wow beautiful. And so the question is kind of, is that okay? That's disrespectful to be in a relationship, and that's taking place. Well, my thing is, and one of the things I'm always sharing, is that you have to decide what is right for you and not what makes other people feel happy or what other people believe is respectful or disrespectful. That's the challenge we have in our society is we're always comparing and we're letting others' comparisons dictate our relationship. Now, if you're in a relationship that if that is acceptable behavior, then you cannot allow your friends to make you believe there's something wrong with that just because they think it's disrespectful. Because for some reason, some people have this belief that once you get in a relationship that your boyfriend, girlfriend will not see other women or men they become blind. They will not be attracted to other people. I'm here to let you know, I may, it may be the bare bad news, but they will always, unless they are actually blind, will always be physically attracted to others. They will always be mentally attracted to others. Forever. Get over it. Now, with that said, you have to decide on if it's acceptable behavior that they can say that in front of you because you don't want to hear that they think other people are beautiful because you want to keep in your mind that you're the only person that, that they think of and they're the, you're the only person that they're attracted to. If you want to play that mental game with yourself, that's okay, but you need to make that clear in your relationship. The same thing with mentally. The real world, they will always, I don't care what any of these guys out here talking about, I'm so committed and I would never, they always will be attracted to others just as you as a woman will always be attracted. Welcome to the real world. But with that said, I do get it. You do have to make it clear in your relationship what is acceptable behavior even though I know you're going to be attracted to others. Now, if I don't want the public to know that you think other women are beautiful because you're in a relationship with me, then I need to make that clear. You guys understand how I just said that because for some of you, that's going to, to come across as, well, what are you saying? It's okay? No, it's back to what I said before. You decide in your relationship whether that's okay or not. But I do want you to understand there's a difference in a person saying someone's beautiful and someone trying to get in a relationship with someone else. And that's where the distinction comes from. Is this a person that sees, I mean, there's couples that go out together and, 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 and the woman will see a woman and go, she's cute, huh? Don't you think she's cute? And she's not asking just to see how he's gonna respond. Now, some of you ladies will do that just to see if he, how he's gonna respond so you can get in an argument. Cause if he go, yeah, she is, she's beautiful. Then you wanna fight. You prefer for him to lie to you. As uh, Sinbad used to say, no, nah, baby, when the woman walking across the sand in the bikini looking all sexy, you go, she said, oh, you like that, huh? He's, oh, no, nah, no, nah, baby, no, nah, that's disgusting. You know, I like you with your butt hanging in the sand, you dragging your butt on the sand. That, that's what I like. See, you can live in that fantasy world if you choose to. And I, again, I'm not saying that your partner should do that in front of you because I personally wouldn't do that in front of my wife or a girl that I'm in a relationship with because I personally feel that would be dishonoring and disrespectful. Now, I'm always going to be attracted mentally and physically. I'm not going to sit here and try to play this hypocritical game. I will always be attracted mentally and physically doesn't mean I want to get in a relationship with that person. 
but out of respect for you, if you're standing there, I'm not going to sit here with googly eyes as some other woman because to me that is dishonoring and disrespecting the woman that you're with. I wouldn't even do that with women that I'm not in a relationship with. If we're hanging out and you're just a good friend of mine, I'm not sitting there looking at other women going, oh, man. Ooh. I'm not even doing that with the women that I know. Because, I don't know, for me, it's, it's almost like, in a lot of instances, when a guy does that in front of women, at least from my perspective, they look at it as you're just looking at women as a piece of meat. And all you're doing is thinking of the physical, even though you're just saying she's just beautiful. Um, so again, all of this is going to come down to your beliefs. And you need to set these guidelines in front with your partner. If you think it's disrespectful, make that perfectly clear. And if your partner think it's not disrespectful, then we're already going to have a collision. Remember when we talked about red flags? Is that a red flag for you? Is that something that will make you want to break up with your partner because of the fact you feel they're flirting with other people? If you know that up front, that is a red flag. Red flags means you do not cross that line, right? So if you know that's a red flag for you, this is why you guys always hear me saying, know what you want first. Matter of fact, I'm here to put together a quick ebook here, um, and I'm going to put it out here uh, here probably within the next week. Uh, but it's going to be like three, I think it's going to be three or four steps to, to finding your mate. Because, and the reason I'm doing this is because we're making this dating stuff way, way more complicated than it needs to be. This is why I'm saying, if it's a red flag for you, you need to get that clear up front. And if he wants to flirt, and you know he wants to flirt, and that's a red flag for you, you shouldn't be in a relationship with him. This is not about, and I keep saying this over and over, I hope you guys, will, some of you that are still having this issue, will recognize it is not your job to change other people and stop trying to. You're doing nothing but stressing yourself out. This is not your job. People get to run their own journey. You have to be clear on what it is you're looking for and what's acceptable to you in a relationship. Then you find someone who's in agreement and headed in the same direction as you. Because if you think for one second that you telling this guy not to flirt on the internet is going to stop this guy from flirting because obviously you don't trust him if this is an issue, you're living in a naive world. He is going to do that because he is not changing for himself. He is changing to make you happy. So he will try to be sneaky about how he does it because the fact that it's a way for you to see it, he knows he's got to fight. You guys follow me? Now you have a relationship where a person's sneaking and doing things behind your back where you'll call that cheating. But for them, they're like, man, this is what I want to do. I don't feel like arguing with her. That's, again, why you have to find someone who's in agreement with you. That way you don't have to deal with somebody sneaking or all of a sudden he tells you he's not doing it and then you see something that he did do it. Now you guys are back at a battle because now it's like, well, I don't trust you because you're... Get clear. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Is this. Get clear what's acceptable, what's disrespectful and respectful for you, and find someone who lines up with that and quit trying to change people. It's unnecessary stress. Again, the little things, we're going to see the world differently. Those aren't red flags. Like I tell people, give me five minutes, I'm going to disagree with myself on something. So that's a part of relationships. I'm not telling you to go out here and find somebody that you guys never disagree, never see the world different. Again, welcome to the real world. And if you had somebody that saw everything the way that you did, that would be a boring relationship. And then you didn't know about a relationship because you're bored to death. So you want someone in the relationship who sees things differently than you. But you also have to be open to hearing those differences. Even in this particular case, if it's a red flag for you, but the person explains to you why they're like this. And, and of course, this is before you get in a relationship and they explain to you why they do it. And for them, it's not an issue. They can be trusted. And if you feel like it's not a red flag at that point, because, again, a red flag's a red flag. 
if it is a red flag to you, do not cross that line. If their explanation, because folks, sometimes when we're shared things from a different perspective, our view changes. So what I'm saying, if a person shares a different view and you go, wow, wow, I am tripping. Because even after this video, some of you may go, that is true. I mean, if, if he's out there, he's always going to be attracted to other people. And should that bother me that he's out there attracted to other people? Because most of the problem there and the reason, uh, like in this case, why some ladies would be upset if they saw that he was flirting with an, or flirting or just complimenting. Because it could have just been a compliment, not flirting. But the reason that they'll have the problem is because their friends will also see that you said, hi, wow, beautiful to another woman. And the friends will think, uh. And the friends feel disrespected because it's like, how are you going to do that to my girlfriend? Da, da, da. So they're going to put that back on her. Now she's going to put pressure on you. You guys follow me? You have to decide for yourself if that's a red flag. Don't let others tell you it is or isn't. Just because they don't want it doesn't mean it doesn't work for you. And also understand if it is a problem and you recognize it's a problem and the person is someone you truly want to get in a relationship and it's something that's not a problem for you personally to stop doing. If you go, man, it ain't no biggie. I, I just did it because she's cute. I mean, she is cute. It is what it is. But, honey, if that offends you, I ain't got a problem with stop. If you have a partner that's willing to change because they're willing to change, they're not doing it just for you, but they're doing it because they understand it's, it's the best thing for them in the relationship, cool. But if they're only doing it for you, it's only time before they start doing it to, again. And it's usually going to start when you guys are having a rocky relationship. And guess what? That's going to end up back to why you guys end up breaking up. But anyway, as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you who haven't had the opportunity to, uh, to, to check me out, run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Uh, and you can see all the things that I got going on. And folks, as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Figure out what it is that you want first what you want not what your friends want not what the world says is acceptable none of that quit letting the world make that decision for you but get clear and then find someone who matches what it is that you're looking for i'll talk to you guys soon take care bye-bye